Hi everybody and welcome back to Doctor Who Wendover. Today we're going to talk about a rumour, yes, again, about the 14th Doctor. So yes, there have been rumours about an actress called Raki Thakra being the 14th Doctor. First I'm going to read an article and then I'm going to um, give my opinion and how, why I think she could be the 14th Doctor alongside other people. So let's just start. Raki Thakra is an actress who you might know from lots of series such as EastEnders for you who are in the United Kingdom and maybe if you're people from a young generation you'll probably know her from the series from the Netflix series Sex Education if who when she plays the teacher even though there have been rumors about a somebody in sex education I think this character is called um, Lily Iggleheart go, uh, being uh, the 14th Doctor's companion but today we're only going to talk about Raki Thakra so let's get into the video is that Raki Thakra the 14th Doctor? well let's read the article this article comes from a reliable source called Leicestershire Live so it says, let's is the actor among front runners to become the, the next Doctor Who, says bookmarkers. Okay, so let's just carry on. They face stiff competition from famous faces, including a former Time Lord. Now, this um, article is by Jamie Boddy and Lee Garrett, just in case you don't know and you're interested. So let's just jump into the article. Let's is the Leicester's Raki Thakra is one of the front runners to become the next Doctor Who, according to latest odds. If true, she would become the second woman to take on co coveted role. So, apart from Jodie Whittaker, of course, she would be the second one if she becomes a 14th Doctor. So, best known for her role of Shaban, Shab. Nam Masood in BBC's East EastEnders, Raki could soon be swapping the square for the TARDIS if bookmarkers are to be are to be believed. That's because she is now one of the front runners to replace Jodie Whittaker, as the Express reports. That's another um, place you can get information from, but we're just going to stay on this article. So. However, Ricky, who grew up in the city and studied at Soar Valley College, faces of competition the role competing the role for a host from a host of famous faces. This includes the potential full time return of a much loved Time Lord. Latest odds from bookmarker Coral Point Racky as fifth favourite to to be announced as the fourteenth Doctor, so that's fifth favorite so that that could be a lie but it's a rumor so we'll see in the future with her odds currently standing at eight to one she's one of the two women to occupy the top five places in the odds with the top spots occupied by long term bookies favorite Lydia West so we've had other rumors about Lydia West being the 14th doctor so we're not talking about that now so we're just gonna stay on Raki Thakra so the actor who found fame in channels for It's a Sing with Oli Alexander, who, which there have been rumours about Oli Alexander being the 14th Doctor, but we think it's going to be a woman again, so that's why we're talking about Rookie Thakra and Lydia West and loads more, so let's just carry on. The actor who found fame in Channel 4's It's a Sin, who, who's, who was written by Russell T Davies, saw her odds to succeed Jodie Whittaker slashed into half over the weekend. The 28-year-old had been the 2-1 to one favourite to become the new Doctor Who, but a flurry of bets has seemed to move to 4-1. to one. Many punters feel that the very the first ever female Doctor Who will be replaced by another British actress. As we have seen, strong support for Lydia, Lydia West in the last 24 hours, said Corals John Hill. So, as for Ricky, who is also known for her for roles in Netflix Sex Education and Rules of the Game on BBC One, her latest odds are similar to that posted back in January. 
For several, for several weeks, she dropped out odds altogether, but her re-emergence re has added to her chances. If proven right, Raki would be returning to the world of Doctor Who following a stint in her series audio of audio adventures alongside the 8th Doctor, Paul McGann. So, Raki Thakra has been in the Doctor Who universe. She was, uh, she did the voice of a, com of a 8th Doctor's companion, I think, in an audio drama from Big Finish. So, she, the, if she is the 14th Doctor, she isn't the first time that does something about Doctor Who. So, let's just carry on. But for the time being, Jodie Whittaker remains the Doctor, having become the first woman to take on the iconic role back in 2018. Set to, the t set to depart the show later this year in a special episode that celebrates the BBC centenary, speculation continues to mount as to who will replace her. While Lydia West and Reki Thakra are consistently named, former Doctor Who David Tennant has emerged as one of the contenders to replace Jodie Whittaker. Yes, there have been rumours about David Tennant. If you haven't watched the, one of my videos, you can check those out. But um, those rumours are going down. David has previously t returned to the Doctor Who show to, to the show in 2013's 50th anniversary special, so I think it'd be too much for him to return for the 60th. But bookmarkers feel feel that as well as being the four, the tenth Doctor, he could become the fourteenth Doctor too, with odds at two to one. Okay, so that was the article from Let's Just Stay Alive. You can check it out, and well, it's a real, I think it's a reliable source. So yep, yeah. so we had. Lots of things, so, so, things, um, yep, yeah, so, Raki Thakra is a 14th Doctor, tell me what you think in the comments, you can read the article, it's on Let's Just Deal Alive, um, you can read it perfect, per perfectly well, and well, what do you think, is Raki Thakra going to be the 14th Doctor, the famous actress from Sex Education and East Enders? Um, tell me if you'd want her to be the 14th Doctor as well. Um, probably you know her from Sex Education and EastEnders. Tell me if you watch those and if you know her from them as well, if you want to, but that isn't very important. And well, yes, tell me all of everything you, your opinion on her on in the comments. But now I'm just going to give my opinion on her being the 14th Doctor. Now. I think she'd be a very good actress to play the Doctor. Anyway, the doc Doctor who's going to try to carry on with more women to be the Doctor because if they just go back to a man, a man, it would like look like like Jodie Whittaker's Doctor didn't work. So everybody thinks Doctor who's going to carry on with the female Doctor, and I don't mind, and I think it's perfectly well. So let's just carry on. I think Lady West has a good British accent, um, as you might have seen in both shows. Sex Education, she's a teacher, and well, um, she's very demanding, and that's good for the Doctor, and you might have seen that in East End EastEnders as well. So she's got that nice British voice the Doctor needs. Um, Doctor Who has said it's going to be a British act uh, um, actress or actor, which, well, hasn't approved, but we think it will. Britain's British. And, well, I think she's got um, that doctory thing. I've just made up that word, doctory. But, um, yeah, she could be the Doctor, and I can see her in the Doctor's role, and I can see her in a costume coming out of the TARDIS and everything. So tell me if you can see her too in the comments. So I think she's a very good pick for the Doctor, as for Lydia, Lydia West and lots of other actors and actresses. So um, I think this is a very good pick for... Um, the 14th Doctor, we've got, the, probably by the time we get the 14th Doctor, before then, we'll get loads of other rumours about um, other, other people being the 14th Doctor, and maybe more about her, we don't know. Centenary special coming up, so excited, but yeah, we'll, if the, the I mean, the 13th Doctor will regenerate in that episode, so, um, well, we could see Raki Thakra and the Centenary special. Who knows, or Lydia West or somebody in the end. So, we're, I'm so excited, everybody's so excited. Um, Raki Thakra, 
a good pick for the 14th Doctor, as for Lydia West and lots of other people. I don't think David Tennant is going to be the great choice because he's already played the Doctor, I think. Doctor Who should give um, other actors actors and actresses another chance. So, yeah, it's a good time for um, Raki Thakra to stand up and be the Doctor as for Lydia West. So, yep, so that's our video of today. I hope you've liked it and like it if you have. And, well, until next time, um, I say goodbye.